Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas. And I'm Dylan. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. St. Mary's students have returned to school after summer break. Jeff Thompson, the Director of Transportation for St. Mary's Schools, said the first day of school went well and they're undergoing the usual bus stop change requests. This is the busiest time of the year for their department as updates come in regarding students who have changed addresses and bus drivers are still getting used to their new routes. Disparities among the latest state test scores have been noted. St. Mary's Public Schools were in the top 10 of 24 school districts in Maryland with standardized test scores overall. Within the country, there were low scores among different demographic groups, including students with disabilities and those of certain races, where some results showed so much as less than 1 in 10 students passing. The owners of Kent St. Mary's Landing are talking with the county government, which could possibly lead to the public boat ramp being shut down this November. This is all dependent on whether agreement can be reached between the county and the owners of Cape St. Mary's Marina. There have been signs posted to the boat ramp near Cat Creek Lake in Mechanicsville warning users of the ramp of these proposals of it being shut down if an agreement is not met. Kim Summers, principal of Chalpticon High School, will be retiring at the end of this school year. After spending over 30 years working in education, Summers plans to travel with her husband. She spent seven years as a teacher, three years as an instructional resource teacher, three years as an assistant principal, and 19 years as a principal. She looks forward to not planning her life around a calendar. Two years ago, the Chapticon football Braves team finished with a regular record of 8-2. Last year, the Braves record completely reversed 2-8. However, entering into the new year of 2019, the Braves' goal is to restore the team to its former glory two years ago. Senior offensive and defensive lineman Jared Schweitzer said we want to get back to that eight win team that we know we are. We are always out here grinding in whatever weather, hot or cold, and we are working hard to make that happen. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas. And I'm Dylan. Signing off. <laughs>